I want to clarify that I'm also a minister of culture, and that's why I took time to visit the Bob Marley Museum, <laughs> which I know most Kenyans really criticize. But I want to talk to Kenyans today and tell them I visited a museum that is being run not by government, but by the family of Bob Marley. And I looked at the model that they are running that museum. And I said, I am in charge of heroes and heroines in this country. And I need to start small museums to tell the story of our heroines and heroes who participated and sacrificed their lives for this country. Today, Bomale Museum is supporting the entire family. And I can tell you for free, they are living in London and in America because they have support base that is coming from a story that is being told in this country. And a museum that you can enter there, leave money, and that money does not only go to the government, but is also seeing its way to the family. And I can tell you, I feel the pain of our heroes, and that's why I had to take that bold step and visit. And therefore, I want to tell our fellow Kenyans, if we have to come out of poverty, we have to think differently. We have to have a paradigm shift in terms of our thinking in the way we will rescue this country from deteriorating in terms of economy. And going forward, of course, I'm looking forward to starting museums for our heroes and heroes in this country. And uh, probably I would want to pursue this actually first with the dead and Kimani. Because the other day we saw the challenge and we saw how our president came on board for Mama. And we saw how we are also coming board. We cannot continue supporting our families and these families by just giving them stipends. We need to have something long lasting that can sustain them forever. And therefore, allow me, you know, I've been a politician. <laughs> Let me not because I start being a politician. But basically, you can see the passion I have for this ministry. <laughs> thank you very much, my honorable chairman. And thank you for the great words that you have spoken this morning. You can hear that I have a team that is supporting me fully. And you can hear this is a, a actually, a, 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 I'm actually working with three teams, of course. This parliamentary committee on tourism and uh, wildlife, I also have a parliamentary committee that also has a chairman like uh, Bilki on culture and heritage. And I have a Senate committee on tourism and culture, and I have a Senate committee with chairman of culture and heritage. And who else can do better when, he, when they are supported by four chairmen, two parliamentary committee, two chairmen from Senate, and you know, <laughs> this is going to go far. And I can promise you that this is one ministry that is going to transform the economy of this country. And I give the Kenyans my commitment, the members of parliament, our board members, chairs, and our private industry sector that we will work together this journey to rescue this country from the shackles, you know, of deteriorating economy. Because you have seen other countries like Dubai stop mining oil and say we are changing our economy. And today Dubai is doing well. We've seen France that has done well, not because they have national parks, not because they have good hotels, but they have museums that are selling that country. They have historical sites that are selling that country. And therefore it's such a blessing for culture to be part of this ministry. I have two products now to sell. The products of wildlife and the products of culture and historical sites. And we will go far in this ministry. Thank you and God bless.